Now, away from the political fray, community groups across Britain are missing out on millions of pounds in rent payments from telecoms giants for phone masts on their land. Since government rule changes in 2017, local schools, churches, sports clubs and visitor centres have been urging ministers to overturn controversial rules that led to a recalculation of rental values, leaving organisations and individuals who'd signed rental deals with telecoms companies to cite their masks significantly out of pocket. The Digital Economy Act saw rents reduced by up to 90% for those hosting masks and other telecoms infrastructure, hitting thousands of local clubs, community groups and small businesses. Research from the think tank, the Centre for Economics and Business Research, suggests those site owners have collectively lost, wait for it, £2,009 million in rent each year since that 2017 law change. And today, amidst all the other drama at Westminster, further legislation has been placed before the Parliament, making it even harder to appeal against arbitrary rent cuts demanded by the mobile network operators who make a combined annual profit of around £30 billion a year. Campaigners want that 2017 legislation reversed, accusing ministers of being tin-eared and favouring the telecom giants. The government instead proposes a complex complaints process to manage negotiations between site owners and mobile phone operators. Now, as it happens, BT, Virgin Media and Vodafone have announced a string of inflation-busting price rises adding to the cost of living crisis. And when it comes to this mobile mast controversy, the telecom giants say they're balancing the claims of those whose land they rent alongside the need to pay for an improved broadband network improving UK connectivity. Now, this is a complex issue, but important issues often are complex. And while I personally remain open-minded from what I've heard and read about this issue, it does strike me as an example of powerful corporate interests getting their own way at the expense of everyone else. But this show is all about discussion, so let's discuss. And that's your on-the-money question today. Are the UK's telecom giants guilty of crony capitalism.